And there's, uh, there's a coach here cutting down the nets. Can you imagine the uh, celebration? We're going to have a parade at some yeah, point. Yeah, I'm excited. When. That's I'm up excited to the mayor, the I think. Parade. We're going to have a parade at some point. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be there for sure. And we'll have more in sports coming up. We'll have a special guest analyst to talk about this big win up there in Cleveland. That's true. All right, well, the party has begun here in Columbia to celebrate the second national championship in the last three years. Students from the university are carrying on the tradition of jumping into that fountain at the Thomas Cooper Library. Now, News 19's Nate Stanley, he is going to join us live from the fountain. Nate, it looks absolutely crazy out there. It is packed with people. Tell us, what are the sights and sounds? What's been going on? Yeah, Rachel, I'll be honest. A party is uh, an understatement for what we're seeing right now. I'm going to step out of the way and just let you take a look at what we have going on outside of the library right now. And the fountain, just hundreds of people mobbed here. We were watching the game at Russell House with a large student contingent there right before about 5.15. This place was full of students. People jumped in. And it's just been mobbed with people. Everybody having a great time. Everybody having fun. I actually got a couple, couple USC students over here. We got my guy Tommy. Come over here, Tommy. Tommy's a, a Boston native. Tommy, tell me about the game today. What, what was going through your head oh, watching man. that? First half was stressful. I mean, we came out only up a few points. I mean, and then we, we kind of took over in the second half. But I was stressed out, you know. I mean, and then we pulled away. So we got the win, though. That's all that matters. And uh, tell me what you did uh, after the game. Where'd you, uh, what'd you end up doing? Yeah, so we were down at the Salty Nut Cafe uh, down in Five Points. And right as the game got out, we sprinted down the street right to this fountain. And we, I, I belly flopped in there. I mean, all my friends were just in a big circle just jumping in. It was great. It was awesome. What's it like seeing this? I mean, describe to me the, the atmosphere and how does it feel as a student? I love it. So I w I'm a sophomore, so I didn't get to see the last championship we won so this is my first one it's amazing I mean it really just shows like the spirit around this school it's it's incredible I love it awesome thank you Tommy as I was saying we're seeing a lot of people people are just taking their shoes off they're taking their their socks off and they're just jumping in they're going for it some people I've seen people jumping in here with jeans on with shoes on I mean this just shows you the passion of the fans we've got another passionate fan here this is my dear friend, Michaela. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Talk to me about the game today. What was going through your mind watching that? I cannot even explain. Like, this was the best feeling I've ever had in my entire life. As a freshman coming to the school, never even seen this many people come to the school or come out. But, like, it was the best feeling of my whole entire life. And I just can't even explain how my heart's at, like, 162 right now. It's just it's so amazing. Feels great. And you're, you were saying you're a South Carolina native. Yes. What does it mean to see South Carolina do this on a national scale? Um, so I've never really been into sports, but coming to USC and watching the girls basketball team just demolish every single team back to back, it just makes me feel like I was meant to be born in South Carolina. <laughs> awesome, Michaela. Thank you so much. Are you going to jump in the fountain at all? No, I did not. I don't want to get sick. I'm oh, <laughs> right. that's a smart that's a smart piece of advice. Thank you so much, Michaela. Well, Rachel, we're gonna stick around here a little bit, see how this crowd acts. I'm not gonna jump in the fountain. I'm gonna be like Michaela, not gonna jump in the fountain. Obviously I've got the work shoes on. I don't wanna make any bad mistakes there. But once again, just an absolute party here, an absolute madness and then just tons of fun. Fair enough, Nate, fair enough. Well, I have to ask, is this mainly just students or are we seeing, you know, some adults jumping into this fountain too? <laughs> so I will say that the ratio of people jumping into the fountain is definitely a lot of students. Um, you see a couple of adults out here, a couple of alumni hanging out. They're less eager to jump into the fountain as you can imagine. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's mainly students. I'd say young people just honestly having, having the college experience that everybody kind of dreams of and just watching you know, them have a great time. And I'm sure for a lot of these kids, it's gonna be something that they, that they never forget and experience. Uh, one guy was walking by today and he said, you know what, I'll see you here this time next year. We're doing it all over again. So that's kind of the, the mentality. Everybody's excited and everybody's confident this team is gonna just keep doing this. Gotta love it. Yeah, so excited for all of those USC fans, all of the students there. It's gonna be an amazing time. Thank you so much, Nate. Well, Home Team Barbecue in Columbia had their watch party today for our new national champions. A major victory for our Gamecocks who are now undefeated with a national title 38-0.
That is where we find News 19's Zoe Henry. She is going to join us now. Zoe, what has that excitement been like inside of that restaurant? Rachel, much like Nate, it has been really exciting in here right now. It doesn't look the same as it did right after the game because everybody did run to the fountain. But if you take a look at this video, it was cheer after cheer after cheer throughout this game. Now, I know a few fans were a little nervous during the first quarter, but after that, it was just cheering and constant excitement. I mean, we even had USC football team players in the room cheering as loud as the rest of the students and fans. And I, I spoke with some seniors who were right talking to me right when the winning score happened. Yeah, and again, the energy in here was amazing, and I'm sure it's not going to stop today. It'll continue throughout the rest of the year. But for now, I'm Zoe Henry, News 19, WLTX. Well, thank you so much, Zoe. We appreciate it. Our team coverage of the Gamecocks National Championship continues. News 19's Chandler Mack, he is going to join us now from Cleveland with Tessa Johnson after this celebration, after scoring career high points in the national championship game. All right, I'm here with Tessa Johnson, Gamecock point guard, Tessa Johnson. Tessa, you are only a freshman. You are already a national champion. Describe what that means. I mean, I can't even describe it in words, but it's everything that I've talked about in my in my past when I was younger and just the feeling like you can't describe it. It's amazing. And you were unfazed by the moment today, right? You had 19 points. What was it about your preparation that allowed you to shine when the lights were the bright? I mean, I mean, I'm in the gym, I'm playing basketball, I'm watching film, but I would say that it was my teammates who were giving me confidence, telling me what I need to do out there and just never giving up on me. And for you, you look at it, only 10 teams have ever gone, only 10 teams have ever gone undefeated in a season. You are a part of one of those teams. Describe the feeling of that. It's amazing. And the fact, like Coach Dale was saying, like women's basketball, like just being a part of history and being inspirations to the younger girls like you can't you can't ask for anything better sure and i'm gonna let you talk to the fans in a bit but my final question for you this win this season perfect season what does that say about the culture that don staley has built at south carolina the perfect season says it all because the fact that we're such we're such great players but the best part is how unselfish we are and we play for each other out there and for coach out there and the environment and culture she's built like it's it's everything. Awesome. Thanks so much, Tessa. Congratulations. Reporting here in Cleveland at the Final Four with the national champion, South Carolina Gamecocks, Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTA. Well, thank you so much, Chandler. Very exciting. I can feel that energy just here, all the way here in South Carolina from Cleveland. Anyway, we're going to take a look now at some of our uh, posts on social that we're seeing um, all afternoon, obviously, throughout this championship game against Iowa. Folks have been tweeting they've been posting on facebook you can see here governor henry mcmaster said national champions once again congratulations to gamecock women basketball and yet another dominating season we can see over here shane beamer um, the usc football coach he was obviously attending this game um, always great seeing Alyssa lang and other great hashtag gamecocks we see the gamecocks players here we see Aaliyah boston here um, you know, the university shouting her out saying, we are so proud of you. This is another person, it looks like, who said they were on their way to see the Gamecocks play. This was from several hours ago. It looks like she caught a flight from Charlotte, a last minute flight. We also see Jason Sudeikis here and the University of South Carolina posting with all of the players coming through there, seeing all of their fans. Amazing stuff all around for sure.